Spider monkeys! <laughs> Spiders? And monkeys? No, spider monkeys. We can see them from the roof. Come on. What? A monkey that looks like a spider? Uh, no thanks. Oh, no. They're really cute. She's right. And they have really funny hair. Come on, check it out. Wow. Can't really tell from here if they're cute. Oh, but look at that arm swinging. Just casually swinging from branch to branch. Swing and stretch and hang. Oh, if only I could brachiate like that. Brachiate what? Like who? Brachiate. That means swing arm over arm, like a spider monkey does. Wow. That is one impressive creature power. Hey, give me those. Hey. Hey, they are cute. Okay, so there we have it. Spider monkeys are cute. Now let's get back to checking out insects. Like this one. And do a super bug-sized adventure. Are you kidding me? There's a spider monkey swinging above our heads that is one of the best brachiators on the planet. We've got to swing with the spider monkeys. Bug-sized adventure's better. Swing with the spider monkeys. Bug-sized adventure's better. In fact... <laughs> Hey, bro! We can fly around through treetops and get the most incredible up close and personal look at all sorts of bugs. Like this bug here. Oh, and check it out. When you're bug size, you can get a really good look at his face. He has a long, straw like proboscis that he spears into plant stems. And then he sucks the juice out. So now, what do you think, bro? You want to do a bug size adventure or what? Nope, we're swinging with spider monkeys. Come on! Hey! You're coming with me. Oh, hey! Woo <laughs> yeah! Well, spider monkey powers will make a magnificent creature power suit. We'll be with those spider monkeys in no time! <laughs> yeah! Only one problem with your brilliant plan, Chris. You're ziplining down, and the spider monkeys are climbing up. Oh, oh no! <sighs> You're a great climber, bro. But when compared to spider monkeys, not so much. They're just super climbers, aren't they? Yeah, and there's no way we can keep up with spider monkeys. But we could have found, oh, about 100 cool insects by now. If we were doing a bug-sized adventure. Huh? What? Horses in the trees? So now horses can climb better than me, too? Not horses, Chris. Those are spider monkeys. And if I remember my spider monkey language lessons, that means they found a fruit tree. <laughs> my turn, finally! Okay, so there's a father and two teenage monkeys, but no sign of a mother. Okay, now this isn't fair. You make me come on a swing with the spider monkey adventure, and now I can't even look. But I don't even see a mother or a baby. Here, let me see. I'll find a baby spider monkey. Come on, bro, give me. Martin, you're more annoying than a mosquito. Uh, Chris, I think I found them. Knock it off, Martin. I'm not giving you the binoculars. <laughs> Chris, help! I'm being monkey napped! Uh-oh. Aviva, come in. Martin's been monkey napped and taken into the realm of the spider monkeys where humans can't climb. Monkey napped? I've heard of cat napped, kidnapped, but never monkey napped. How can a human get kidnapped by a monkey? All right, finally a little climbing. Okay, have it your way. Oh, this is just...
just great. I'm the climbing brother, and I want to be high in the trees swinging with the spider monkeys. And where do I end up? On the bottom of the river. And Martin's the swimming brother, not me. <gasps> but wait a second. The basilisk will never see me coming from down here. Gotcha! Activate basilisk power! <laughs> to the creature rescue! Can't break in through the treetops. Running on water isn't so bad. Is this your first time on the ground? Of course. A lot of spider monkeys can go their whole lives, hardly ever touching the ground. It's okay, Grabsy. You can do it. <laughs> on the monkey bars. But you know, I never even knew I was brachiating. Did I mention really, really, really long arms? So long, they drag along the ground when you walk, so you have to dangle them over your head. Hmm. All right, let's stretch out the arm program by a factor of 2.81. Got it. Make an arm function for maximum brachiation. Oh! I'm good. Hmm, the prehensile tail will be a challenge. Okay, fine. I'll carry you. But here's the deal. When we get to the trees, you have to carry me. <gasps> Uh-oh, Jaguar! She hasn't seen us yet. Don't move. <laughs> She's seen us now. Changing plans. Back to the river. Ah! Oh no, I forgot. Spider monkeys don't swim. She doesn't have to. Rescue, bro! <laughs> Woohoo! Ah! Oh, What's with the hair? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the way she likes it. Hurry up, Chris! This is awesome! Miniaturize! Starting. I think Orbit's starting to weave her orb web. Looks like she's sending the first strand in your direction. <gasps> Using the wind to blow it across. And touchdown, right on the mark. A few tugs to make sure it's secure, and she's off. Spinning another strand as she goes. Then she drops straight down to the center of that. <gasps> That's the beginning of the spokes of the web, like a bike tire. Whoa! I'm surfing the web! These threads aren't sticky yet. <laughs> that comes later, bro. After the structure's done. Oh, it will be soon. She's putting the spokes in. We gotta get a close look at her spinnerets. The silk comes right out of her abdomen. But how does she make it? Uploading a body scan for Aviva. This'll get her started on a spinneret prototype. I hope so, because this is the most beautiful silk in the world! No other spider has golden silk like this. And it's also one of the strongest spider silks on the planet. Beautiful and strong. Now that's a good combination. Keep spinning, Orbit! <laughs> Can I see that scan again, Pokey? Coming up! Okay, so the web starts as a gloopy liquid, right here in the spider's body. Then the liquid gets squeezed out of the spinnerets. 
Yeah, all these tiny nozzles make up the spinneret. Each one shoots out a teeny strand, and together they make a thread of webbing. But the magic of the spinneret is that somehow, when the web liquid passes through, it hardens instantly, like that. That's the part scientists have had trouble with. Okay, got it. I'm ready to test this prototype spinneret. Jimmy, is the web mixture finished? <sighs> I thought you'd never ask. Let's do this thing. And now! Sorry, Jay-Z. Well, that didn't work. Hmm, too watery. Don't think I'm giving up. I told you I'd show you the power of spider silk, and that's what I'm going to do. Well, you better get to it, because a spider doesn't just have one web mixture. She's got six. Six? That's right. Each one of these glands in her body makes a different type of webbing, each for a different purpose. Oh, no. I can't even get one of them right. Well, it hardened. Just a little late. <laughs> All right, Orbit. Nice work on the frame. Now for the sticky stuff. She's already started, Martin. Sticky web spinneret engaged. This new thread has special droplets of sticky stuff attached to it. That's the key to the spider's trap. Wow, attaching it to the frame in a spiral. Round and round she goes. Woo! Coming to check it out, Chris. Martin! Thanks, dude. Thanks, Spider Stick. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. Stop moving. Orbit might think you're a captured bug if you struggle too much. Please don't eat me, Orbit. She's done with her web. She's taking her hiding position. The trap is set. No kidding. Incoming. A bee. He's coming in at 32 kilometers per hour, and I don't think he sees the trap. Will the trap hold? Yes, the web held. I could have told you that. Amazing that a few tiny threads can stop a bee in mid-flight. That's nothing. An orb weaver web is strong enough to catch a bird. And the spiders will eat them, too. Uh, speaking of eating, ooh, the first thing she does is stop the bee with her venomous bite. And then she wraps it up, a package of food for the next few days. Hopefully I'm not next. Hmm, are you thinking what I'm thinking, brother? I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. You thinking what I'm thinking? I don't think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I know I'm thinking what I think we're thinking. I think. You mind telling us what you're thinking? Cubs! They really were thinking the same thing. She must have a cub in there, because that is the only time a jaguar ever goes to a den. Otherwise, jaguars will just sleep anywhere in the forest. The only adult jaguar that ends up is a mother with a cub. We've got to get in there and have a look. Let's sneak in miniaturized. You're like baby monkeys. <laughs> well, you look a lot easier for a jaguar to eat. Thanks. Ah. Huh. Yes, we were right. <gasps> a mom and a cub in the shadows. The cub is nursing. We've got to see this. Mm, but we can't shine a light on them, can we? Well, we could, but she might not like it. Or she might not mind. Let's consider it a scientific experiment and find out. I'm good with that. Woo, she's not bothered at all. Uh, but I am. You are? Why? The jaguar didn't even eat us. Yeah, but I still can't see the cub. I want to see the cub. Yeah, me too. But we can't turn up the light, can we? Well, we could, but she might not like it. Or she might not mind. Let's consider it a scientific experiment and find out. I'm good with that. <gasps> a black jaguar. He wasn't sitting in the shadows. He is a shadow. And that's what I'm going to name him. Shadow. Oh, I don't believe it. Shadow cats to Denmark. 
Come in, Dead Mother. Shadowcat's here. Get ready for a never-before-seen moment. What is it? The first emergence of a black jaguar kitten from the den. Oh, que lindo. Aww. Whoa, and check it out. Shadow has the same spot pattern as other jaguars. It's just that all the fur is black. Look! That box! He's got Shadow! I got him! But he's not slowing down! Hang on, bro! Disaster. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Ah. Hey, ah. give me that. Oh. Hey, Danita, you're like a monkey in the middle. Take 
make this? I'll need to do some reverse engineering. Gotta get the color back. Uh, hurry up, Aviva. The animals are all confused without their color and patterns. The animal mom and babies are having a little trouble recognizing each other. Listo! I've re-engineered the fader wand into a color infusion wand. Fingers crossed! <gasps> it works! It works! It brings back their natural colors! Awesome! That's better. All the animals living free and in wild color. Except for one thing. Uh, the color wand kind of malfunctioned on us. Oh, being green is making me feel blue. Being blue makes me feel blue. I want my green back. Uh, oops. Uh... Oh, wait a second. That's not right. <laughs> function here. 